All right, this is going to be part seven. Ryudo says, Captain Baka Laka 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 Laka, we have need of your ship again. Captain says, Ryudo, you look pained, but yet you seem more at peace. That's how a man looks, Ryudo. Where are we heading now? My ship is itching to set sail. Me and this old girl will take you anywhere you need to go. Ryudo says, east along the Grana Cliffs to the end of the sea. He says, we'd be heading towards the great cleft island of Arachna then. Tis far from here, but no captain worth his salt would let that stop him. To the end of the sea. A man of the sea be a man of his word. Are you ready to sail? I say yes. The captain says, the winds blow well, we'd best be quick. Ryudo says, the divine sword is within reach. Let's go. The captain says, Miss, why such a long face? Elena says, nothing at all. The captain says, you wouldn't have had a little tiff with Ryudo now, would you? Elena says, no, I didn't fight with him. The captain says, I take it you're a little upset that he hasn't been too upfront with you then. If you need any advice on matters of the heart, just come to the captain here. I've made countless women laugh and cry in every port I've weighed anchor. Elena says, Captain, I think you have it all wrong. The captain says, that's it, women should laugh. If you cry, you'll only drive, drive men crazy. Come on, climb aboard. Don't have feelings. That's stupid. <laughs> Elena says, Ryudo is back. But to get him back, I had to rely on Millennia. It's getting dark in here. Alright. Elena says, but even if it was for his sake, how could I have relied on Valmar? Elena says, it was the power of Millennia that broke Valmar's spell, not the power of Lord Granus. O oh, Granis, aid me in your journey. Give me the strength to carry out the will of His Holiness. Please guide me. Helena says, Millennia, are you really a pawn of Valmar? Why would you bother to save Ryudo then? Just what do you and Ryudo? Dot, dot, dot. Ryudo says, what's wrong, Elena? Are you seasick? Elena says, I'm fine now. I've become quite used to the ships rolling back and forth. Ryudo says, Elena, thank you. It's only because of you that I did not share my brother's fate. Elena says, there's no need to thank me. Only to spank me. Anyways, it was bound to happen eventually. You cannot keep all the rescues to yourself. Elena says, say, Ryudo, why do you think Millennia did not just remove the horns? Why did she seal them? I've been trying to figure it out. Ryudo says, who knows? She can be pretty moody sometimes. She said she took a liking to me. I forgot to thank her. Oh well. She'll probably pop up tonight anyhow. Big moon out. Elena says, is not Millennia Valmar incarnate? Ryudo says, huh? Elena says, I'm sorry. I just do not know what to think right now. Ryudo says, sorry, Elena. Man, I gotta learn how to keep my cake hole shut, says Ryudo. <laughs> Which cake hole, my dear? Food goes in, food goes out. Captain says, this must be the end of the world. Will you be okay from here on out? Ryudo says, we'll manage. Merig says, rest your concerns. This place is familiar to me. Ryudo says, Merig? Merig says, it is so. Ryudo says, I'll take your word for it. Captain, thanks for your help. Elena says, praise Granus for you and your ship. Captain blah, 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 blah. Thank you so much for everything. Tio says, I provided no assistance. I desire to be of further utility in the future. Bacala says, well, my friends, what will you be doing now? Merig says, we have other matters to attend to. Thanks. Oh, my thanks you have for your troubles. May the course you set be ever true. The captain says, no worries, friend. A sailor's life be in the wind and tides.
be they foul air, no, be they foul or fair, no amount of worrying change their minds. Rito says, then I won't bother wishing you well. So long, Captain. Just a little wisdom before you leave, Ryudo, says the captain. Ryudo says, what? <clears throat> captain Bakala says, a man's got two hands. One he keeps for his ship, and the other he keeps free. But I tell you, you might want to keep both hands for someone else. Duty and freedom aren't the only things worth grabbing onto. Ryudo says, I'll think about it. Alrighty. Remember this being a relatively longer dungeon, if memory serves. <coughs> Merrick says, The sword which we seek lies to the east of the granite cliffs if Melphis spoke in truth. Ryudo says, I don't think he had any reason to lie. Merrick says, Though it would bend our course, we should go to my village. Ryudo says, Are you from around here? Merrick says, Yes. Ryudo says, We'll go with you, but look, are you planning on staying there? You've done what you set out to do. Tio says, Master, what is to become of me? Merig says, Worry not, Tio. I do not know which path I shall follow, but I, nor will I know until I reach my village. Yet, you will be among friends. Ryudo says, I see. In any case, once we find the Grana Saber, I'll be just about ready to punch out. End of the road. Helena says, Yes. Ryudo says, End of the journey, huh? Evil flowers. Oh my. hurt you if you stand there, I guess. What is that thing doing? Aromatic roots. I guess I get poisoned if I touch those stupid things. <clears throat> Evil froggos. pay more attention to this stupid poisonous air. Part two, I guess. Oh my.
come on. The divine talisman. Is it divine though? first. Mm, whatever. This place is weird. Merig says, the mark of the demon man's claws. Ryudo says, Melfis. Merig says, the land has been befouled by his presence. <coughs> Elena says, so the claws were sealed here. Merig says, this tragedy is but one among the many brought into being by the god of darkness. Merig says, I do not understand this. Why does the darkness yield tragedy? Elena says, it is natural, for is not the god of darkness the source of all misery? Merig says, you say the darkness is wicked. Elena says, do you say it isn't? Merig says, my understanding of this matter is cloudy. It would seem my beliefs differ from those which Elena has been taught. Elena says, how so? Merig says, light and darkness are as fire and wind. Fire brings warmth and comfort, yet it burns and withers that which it touches. The wind blows cold, lifting soil into the air, yet it also bears the seeds of earth. Each then brings both life and death. Elena says it is not as you say. Merig says, how then was Malthus made corrupt by the darkness while Ryudo yet keeps possession of his soul? How then does Tia remain free from the taint of darkness, though she was once its tool? Ryudo says, Rowan's people worshipped Valmar. Merig says, my people worship neither Valmar nor Granus, so it, so it has been since the beginning. Elena says, neither Lord Granis nor Valmar? Merig says, I wish to c confuse you no further. Speak on this matter with the elder of my village and he will lend you understanding. Sexy understanding. Inside the bottle. Um, okay. Isn't that how I got over here? I don't know how to put all this crap all over the place. Alright, well that's one way to go. Uh, yeah, I don't think I was this way. There's nothing over here. Alright, perfect. Some random guy says, Mary, it's you. Merrick says, I've returned. The person says, so that means, and Merrick says, it is so, Malthus is dead. We knew you would not fail, says the nameless person. Who are your companions? Merrick says, it is not Malthus, you see, but his brother. These are those whom I am pleased to call friends. Oh, I see, says the other guy. The words of Merrick must be true. I welcome you. Anyway, the elder's been waiting for you. Why don't you visit him while I let you... Well, I let everyone know you're back. So, dear friends, friends of Merig are friends of the entire village. Make yourselves at home. See you later, Merig. 
damn straight we're friends, says Ryu. <clears throat> Merrick says, let us visit with the Elder, as there is much I must say. Blah, blah. the elder's house. The elder says, you have returned, Merrick. Merrick says, yes. The elder says, good, but the danger is not yet past. Merrick says, that is not necessarily so. The elder says, what do you mean? Merrick says, it's a long story. The elder says, I see. Come inside. Your companions may also enter. The elder says, you search for the divine sword. Ryudo, that's your name, correct? Would you mind answering a question? Ryudo says, sure. The elder says, why do you seek the sword? Ryudo says, because perhaps I didn't know anything. The elder says, what do you mean? Ryudo says, I've spent my life running from my problems, hiding behind my sense of duty. I've never had time to stop and think things over. So I decided to stop running. I decided to start feeling what's going on around me. I've been numb for far too long. The elder says, we too believe that life must be felt. Perhaps you also feel that not all light is good, or that all darkness is evil. You've probably felt alone, you are not. My people rejoice, not in the gods, but in the blessings that come from a strong heart. Tio says, no darkness, no light, feelings? I do not understand. Elena says, this is ridiculous, Valmar really does exist. Did not the darkness besiege this very village? Valmar is trying to bring destruction to the world, of this I am certain. Ryudo says, Elena, you're not in church here. Elena says, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Merrick says, Elder, things which are beyond our understanding even now grow restless seeking to enter our world. In many places have I smelled the stench of coming nightmare. 
We must not turn a blind eye to this. Ryuta will not, and I will not. The Elder says, I see. You ought to help them, then. Those in need must help each other. Merig says, you speak truly. I wish to see this purpose to its end. The Elder says, what of your guests? Would they mind staying until tomorrow? Ryuto says, I don't mind. The Elder says, good. It is just about time to prepare the feast, and it would be a shame if you didn't attend. Merig, you've done your job well. You've lifted us from misery. The feast shall be in your honor. Ryuto says, do we need an invitation? The Elder says, if you are Merig's friends, then you are our friends as well. Come, have a good time. The Elder says, hmm, oh yes, I wonder if I may ask a small kindness of those two. Merig says, Elder, they should not hear this request from your lips. Permit me to inquire them instead. Tio says, can I help out as well? The Elder says, no, Merig, invincible as you are, you are not suited to all tasks. Please go to the village square. Merig says, as you desire. I shall await your presence, Tio. We shall walk together. Tio says, yes, master. The elder says, no one in the village can perform this task, otherwise I would never ask you. Ryudo says, it's fine with me. Elena says, I'd be happy to help as well. The elder says, glad to hear it. I'm counting on you. The elder says, this place is open only at feast times. Ryudo and Elena, what I ask will require courage and determination. The villager says, many who have entered have perished. As such, we only ask those that are strong in mind and body. But I have faith in you. Your resolve must be unwavering to enter. The elder says, Ryudo, will you do us the honor? Elena says, he asks with such sorrow. Ryudo says, can't really say no. The elder says, thank you. Please enter the forbidden room. Oh my. It's about to get forbidden in here. Ryudo says, this place is empty. Look, just in case you didn't know, we're not a band of traveling interior decorators. The man says, are you ready? Ryudo says, figured there'd be at least some monsters. Elena says, what are we here for? The man just says, are you ready? Ryudo says, yes. Elena says, ouch, what is this? Rito says, are you okay, Elena? Elena says, yes. Rito says, this place gives me the creeps. What are we supposed to do in here? Elena says, look, Rito, I see light over there. Rito says, what is it? Probably should check it out. Nothing better to do. A pile of leaves. I don't think that would break your fall very well. What is this? The thing on top appears to be a large caro. Ryudo says, here's an inscription. He who seeks the blessings of the earth must be tested in the arena of trials. Bring here the walnuts of light and the door of blessings shall open. Elena says, what could that mean? I just say, let's do it. We're trapped in a shithole. This is the trial, grabbing nuts from the pedestals. What's next? Braving the pillow gauntlet? walnuts apparently oh my Rito says that's it the walnuts are food for the caros I'm guessing the blessings are behind that door.
This is the blessing of Earth? Pointless. Why would they send us here for such an errand? Ugh, not again. What is this stuff? Ryudo says this moss reeks. It smells like sky when he opens that beak of his. Elena says, ew, it's getting all over me. Ryudo says, geez, let's get out of here. Ryudo says, this looks like the exit. Guess they use the term trial pretty loosely around here. Elena says, it seems a rather poor joke. Ryudo says, what were we supposed to do and what the heck is this stuff? Ryudo says, what's with you guys? And the elder says, wonderful, thank you so much. For what? The smell is just heavenly to us. The crop of silver vine moss is superb. It smells like a vintage year. The elder says, we wanted you to get the sap from this silver vine moss. The elder says, when any of us goes in, the smell saps our desire to come out again. We haven't had such glorious fragrances in years. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Let the feast begin. Elena says, they say the smell will linger even if we try to scrub it off. It must be an acquired taste. Ryudo says, let's see what they're so damn happy about, though I guess we already know. Elena says, yes. What is this item I just got? Merrick says, what a captivating scent. Ryudo says, snap out of it. Merrick says, I'm sorry, Ryudo and Elena. The both of you are exuding an enchanting scent. Elena says, I've heard that some smells are impossible to rid yourself of. This seems to be one of them. Tio says, did you two get something smeared on you? Ryudo says, yeah, can you tell? Elena says, this is horrible. Do we really smell that bad? Tio says, you have the oil of silver vine moss on you. Ryudo says, is it harm it? Is it harmful? Tio says it has no effect on humans, but it intoxicates the beast men. Some of them even become addicted to it. Elena says, does that mean it's dangerous for... Is it dangerous for us to go near the villagers? Tio says, the effect lasts about a day, but it takes roughly three days to become addicted, so there's no danger. Elena says, thank goodness. Anyways, they keep talking about the smell, and it's getting old. Anyways, I guess we're having a feast. A feast. The elder says, please do not be embarrassed. Ask anything of us. Ryudo says, sing a song. Anyways, they're still talking about the song they're gonna sing. Sky says, hey, Ryudo, buddy, pal, thought you couldn't stand God or women. Listen, oh friend of friends, she's different, says Ryudo. Sky says, I see. Ryudo says, don't start with me, shouldn't you be ramming your head into a tree by now for dinner? Sky says, how you've changed. Word of advice, women are impossible to understand, so act before your brain starts getting in the way. Ryudo says, what do you mean by that? Merrick says, I don't care for their god, but the song moves me. Tio says, what response does Elena's song prompt in you? Merrick says, it's a warmth that blooms, a fragile thing of thread and air unfolding. Tio says, I don't feel anything. Merrick repeats what she just said. Tio says, not nothing, but I do not understand. Merrick says, that's your heart. Tio says, I don't have one. I don't understand what you mean by live free. There's much I do not know. Merrick says, you need not understand. You need only listen. To live free is to pay heed to the voice within you no more than this. Ryudo is learning the truth of this. And only now does he begin to set aside the laws of men and live under the natural law. Tio says, Ryudo lives under natural law? I do not understand. Does this correspond to the protocol of being your own master? Merrick says, yes, perhaps this will be the most expedient path to understanding. From the moment, from this moment forth, seek to become your own master. Tio says, if it's your command, but how shall I address you from this point on? Merrick says, my name is Merrick, just as I told you when we met. T 
Theo says, very well. From now on, I'm my own master. Merig says, indeed, I believe you are. Merig says, come, let us make our mouths wet with drink, for my tongue swells with thirst. Theo says, Merig? Merig says, what do you want, Theo? Theo says, I'm just testing my functions. I think I just felt something when I called you Merig. Theo says, a slight increase in heat production, yet my cooling systems are operational. Merig says, your heart, young one. Theo says, I cannot confirm this. Merig says, nor can you confirm the sound of a flower opening or the taste of an autumn sunset. Feel, that's enough. <laughs> Somebody says, that was wonderful. You have a beautiful voice. Ryudo says, very nice, Elena. Elena says, thank you, Ryudo. Where did Sky go? Ryudo says, said he was hungry. Probably knocked himself out on a closed window. Guess we gotta sing something too, says the random people. Ryudo says, I heard this one before. Maybe it was at Rowan's? Elena says, it's interesting. Elena says, Ryudo, I've heard them say that the spring is beautiful once night falls. Ryudo says, I heard that too. Elena says, I'd like to see it. Ryudo says, come on, let's go. Anything to get away from that low bit singing. Elena says, I was kind of nervous. Until now, I only sang for Lord Grannis. I never thought I would sing for others. Elena says, but I've never had so much fun singing. I never imagined it to be so exciting. Merrick's people are a wonderful audience. Ryudo says, they're good people. Hell, even I feel better after hanging around them. Elena says, I love to sing. It brings me a sense of peace, as if we were somehow closer to the world. Elena says, I wonder if those who listen feel the same. Elena says, say, Ryudo. Ryudo says, Elena, I want to thank you for what you did for me when the horns got me. Elena says, huh? Ryudo says, I got it messed up. What I meant to say when the horns possessed me, I felt you in my heart. And it's like we were connected. Elena, you're special to me. Oh God, the straits. Elena says, Ryudo, why do you tell me this now so suddenly? Ryudo says, I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? Elena says, no. I'm thirsty right now, oh God. Wait a minute while I drink from the spring. She's so thirsty. Ryudo says, it never goes how I want it. Elena says, Ryudo saying things out of the blue like that. But I can't respond. If I did, I would lose something important inside of me. My virginity. <laughs> Millennia says, that's right, Ryudo is all mine. Oh man, it's glitching. Elena says, Millennia. Millennia says, face it, sister. It would never work between you two. Millennia continues, he's not the most important thing in your life. You could never begin to love someone else. Elena says, that's not true. Millennia says, you have me fooled. Elena says, it could not be helped. I have a higher obligation. I must complete my task no matter the price. Millennia says, sure thing, your holiness. Nothing more important than Zara's damned words, right? Elena says, how can you say that? Why do you torment me? Millennia says, save the drama for your mama. I know everything about you. Don't forget that. I'd give myself totally to Ryudo, life and body. Ryudo could never love a woman like you. You'd have to pry my cold, dead fingers off him first. Elena says, stop it, Millennia. What are you trying to do to Ryudo? Millennia says, Ryudo is mine. He knows it, I know it. In one way or another, you'll know it. Oh my. Millennia says, good night, Elena. <laughs> Ryudo says, what's keeping her? I better check it out. I definitely, if I liked girls, would have chosen Valmar as my date. Ryudo says, Elena? 
Millennia says Ryudo. Ryudo says Millennia. Millennia giggles and gyrates her titties. Ryudo says you are. Millennia says handsome. What's wrong? You're not happy to see me? Millennia says you don't want to see me, do you? And I've just been dying to see you. Millennia says, look, the moon is so beautiful tonight. It got me thinking about you. Ryudo says, it always looks like this. What do you want, Millennia? Ryudo says, look, you're here one second and gone the next, even if I have something to tell you. Millennia says, does that mean you have something to tell me? Ryudo says, damn it, you always do that. Millennia says, I'm here right now. What do you have to say? Millennia says, listen, can you hear it? My heart is pounding. I can't wait any longer. Ryudo says, stop it. What the hell are you thinking? Millennia says, I'm thinking of you, Ryudo. I think nothing but you. My only thoughts are about what I can do to make you love me. Ryudo says, stop creeping me out. Millennia says, I can't help it. I've fallen for you. I'm so in love, I don't know what to do. Just forget it, Ryudo. Forget I said anything. Ryudo says, I think I really do love you. But I kind of feel the same way about Elena. Millennia says, why? Would you love me more if I was human? Ryudo says, it's not that. Right now, I think a lot about both of you. I can't choose. It would be impossible. Millennia says, I love you much more than Elena does. You'd never be second in my heart. I love you much, much more. Ryudo says, Millennia. Millennia says, but that girl, she, and trails off. Ryudo says, I'm sorry, Millennia. It's not fair to either of you. Millennia says, if you don't have the guts to make a decision, I'll decide for you. Oh my. Ryudo says, what do you think you're doing? Ryudo says, Elena. Elena says, Ryudo. Ryudo says, it's Millennia. Elena says, Millennia? So Ryudo, you and Millennia. Ryudo says, Elena. And Elena runs away. Ryudo says, hey, don't misunderstand. Elena says, Ryudo chose Millennia. How could I have let myself get so carried away? I have a mission. And that is a... It is that... God damn it, those are the... That's the worst sentence I've ever read in my life. It is this that is of the most importance. Goodness. Just say that's what's most important. Good God. Who wrote this shit? More like who translated it. Ryudo says, thanks for everything. The Elder says, do not speak of it. You're our friends after all. Merig says, we must leave. The Elder says, take care. The place you seek is nothing to us but a legend. In the Great Rift, at a place we call the Tower of the Purple Cloud. If your way becomes too difficult, return here. Ryudo says, nothing's too difficult. The Elder says, you're always welcome here. The gate will always be open to you. Elena says, everything is almost over, right? Ryudo says, what's wrong, Elena? I thought that was a... I said that was a misunderstanding. Elena says, that's not what bothers me. The Divine Sword awaits. I guess we were going towards that gigantic tornado.
birdies. Boydies, boydies. The White Apocalypse. Definitely racist. So many freaking birds. since I'm like right near that spot. This is far too many enemies all right in a row. flowers. We got the wolf boots just hanging out in the mud. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't pick up dirty boots out of the mud. It's just not my style. Oops, evasion by 5%. She already has better stuff than that. Give me my motherfucking money. Mushrooms everywhere. Thank you. 
Scales and a surprise. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Coronavirus vaccine. We finally found it. Oh my! This place is longer than I remember it being. Important. Plus, I think I just reset the enemies when I did that. Oh, 
Yeah, screw that. How did I get down there? I'm so confused. Oh, okay, there we go. Rito says, this is the Tower of the Purple Cloud. It's a gigantic tornado. Elena says, when the divine sword pierced Valmar and fell, the earth was burst, rent, and split. If this is as the holy book states, then that whirlwind is where the Grana Saber lies. Merrick says, what a horrible place. Ryudo says, the wind is incredible. Let's move. Backwards, I feel like I am. Aha. Glad I went back since this is like kind of a puzzly dungeon. Mm, I don't remember if I went up here.
just unleash an atomic bomb on our enemies, it's fine. Asian girl. same way. Birdies. Oh, 
Birds. Let's see. Oh man, I forgot about that. So use the wind. Merrick says, a wall of clouds. Remarkable. Ryudo says, ouch, what the hell's going on here? Sky says, looks like we can't move forward. Elena says, it's only wind. We must continue. We've come so far. What will we do? Merrick says, Tio, what is your concern? Elena says, what are they? What are those things, Tio? Tio says, they seem to be soldiers slain long ago. They're my sisters. This would appear to be a graveyard for soldiers. Oh no, sad robot. Tio says, it seems they charged this wall. They were all destroyed as they knew they would be. Ryudo says, why did they do it? They were directed, says Tio. Let us go to the demon's law over there. I can make this wall of wind disappear. Ryudo says, that's where we go then. Oh, 
To another. Can I just revive all that crap? thingy over here. But how do I get over that? Guess I'll have to kill these people. I feel like I probably missed some stuff. Maybe? Or is it just made to be like confusing looking? Eh, whatever. I guess we gotta find two more of those. Oh, well, I kind of feel like they're close together. There's some armor over there. like some evil robot thing. Whatever, we can't fight it. The exorcism bow. I love when they just give you items for characters that aren't in your party. To me, that always signifies, like, we might have a character in our party soon that we haven't had in there for a while. Teehee. Evil snacks. Oh, 
Ooh, I got a mana egg. Where's my armor? There we go. Nothing else over here. Except for super fun laser time. And we got a mystic potion. The control room. How ominous. Perhaps we should heal really quick. Powering up. I think all these are maxed out. left over but I don't think I need to use any of those right now Gotta spend it on something, I guess. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Eh, whatever, too late now. Because maybe I'll get like some new stuff over here. Tio says, This is the core of Demon's Law. Automata says, Dark soldiers, destroy the Divine Sword, release Valmar, follow your orders to the last unit. Tio says, I will not. I have come to retrieve the Divine Sword. I will leave with the Saber. The Automata says, you're out of line. If I, your commander, give you orders, then you follow them, or else you are defective. Tio says, I'm my own master, and your master no longer exists. The orders are void. I will not fight. Automata says, I cannot understand. Controller requires repairs. Tio says, do not go inside me. Ryudo says, Tio is no longer your puppet. Stop it. Automata says, repairs complete. Eliminate threat. Ryudo says, stop, Tio. We're friends. Merig says, your actions need not be dictated by another. Remember, Tio, none save yourself is your master. Tio says, Merig, yes. I'm my own master. I will not fight you. Automata says, why do you ignore orders? We exist only to follow orders. Tio has malfunctioned. Decommission immediately.
Heo clone. Merrick says, Tio. The automata says, this is an order. Destroy the light. Darkness. Tio says, I'm sorry. We're only following orders, just as I used to. But you would not understand me. I did not want to fight you. The automata dies. Tio says, farewell. That is the controller of the demon's law. Destroy it, and the wall of wind will disappear. Ryudo says, let's do it then. Nice. Reduces SP consumption. That's pretty useful, actually. Tio says, All resources under the control of the Legion of Darkness have been rendered inoperative. With no immediate threat in the vicinity, the Grana Saber will have deactivated its protective wind barrier. Let us go. Oh my. How spicy. Get me new cool stuff. Merrick says the wind has stopped. Ryudo says by the blood of hell, that's the Grana Saber. Elena says, that's the Divine Sword? It's huge. <coughs> Ryudo says, I see. There are things greater than myself. Merig says, in more ways than one, truly this blade would cleave mountains. Yet, who has the strength to lift it? Or maybe it's a spaceship. Let me have my free spaceship. Give me my spaceship. Here we go. Rito says, there it is. Oh no. It's that one bitch. What are you doing here? Your work has impressed us. His Holiness Zara will be overjoyed. I have come to help you. And why does the music sound evil? Oh, 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 oh. Come, awaken, body of Valmar. The time of revival is nearly upon us. Oh, no. Body of Valmar? Where? I don't see it. Take my blood and be born again. Yes. Oh, body Take of my Valmar. blood. Oh, damn. This bitch is intense. Why is her blood blue? Tasty. Hi, Priestess Selene. Just what is the meaning of this? Elena, you must fulfill your role 
exactly as ordained. Millennia says, come on, we're inside of it now. Ryudo says, what the hell are we supposed to do? Millennia says, if we take out its core, there's no way in hell the thing will keep moving. I don't give a damn how big it is. Ryudo says, right, then let's do some damage. It's so juicy. Blah. Juicy boys.
Oh my. Ninja clothes, huh?
think that will just be that room where I already got that stuff. Hmm. Nope, should have went that way first. Reset that. Hmm. have gone somewhere new. Yep, now we're at the tentacle passage. Oh, it's a dinosaur. D I N O S A, you are a dinosaur. O L D N A N. You're just an old man cheating on me, what? You need a big slap. allows me to go backwards, which we don't want to do that. You should be defeated, bitch. Um, really, that's all that there was over there. Right, maybe this is the right one? Oh, yeah. Because now we can move the blocks a different way. deadlocks you into certain choices. You don't want to do that. Not that I had another choice really. Let's see. That really does nothing. Oh well. Could this place be more cryptic? Thank <laughs> you. 
go backwards by like a long shot. And that seems like the right way. She had like some new options. It was warp evasion. Meh. to do there. Good enough. Millennia says, Well, boys, this is the core. Trash it in the monster's history. says our lives are imperiled the body does not hold together millennia says cool it manimal we have enough time or do we <laughs> millennia says now i have the body Ryudo says that was rough so now that we found the grana saber what what will happen to you or elena millennia says how should i know why did it have to end up like this i just wanted a body of my own Ryudo. was i wrong Rudo says millennia. Merig says it appears the monster's left. Ryudo says whatever. Anyway, we got the Grana Saber. Finally. Ryudo says how are we going to carry it? Merig says a thousand men couldn't do it. Tio says, do not worry, I shall control it. Ryudo says, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Elena says, where are we? Tio says, this is the main control room. Ryudo says, we're inside of it? T 
Tio says the Granite Saber is powering up. says we hang pendant on threads of air remarkable Elena says we're really high up I feel like I'm about to fall Ryudo says this is the power of the grana saber it fights evil and has plenty of leg room a joke that doesn't make sense in this world where there's no cars but whatever Tio says I've set the grana saber to land automatically at St. Heim Papal State is that all right Ryudo Ryudo says perfect thanks Tio and so, yet another job is finished. We did it! Merig says, now the earth itself shall be safeguarded. It is good that this is so. Elena says, yes. Juicy. Juicy. Ryudo says, what about Celine? I'm guessing she was trying to off us. What the hell was she thinking? Ryudo says, Elena, have you heard anything from Zara? I can't stop thinking about what Celine said. Elena says, no, I've heard nothing. Ryudo says, when we get back to the Papal State, Zara's gonna have a little confessional session with me. Elena says, I'm a little tired. Tio, can I rest somewhere? Tio says, yes, Elena. Please come with me. Oh. Elena says, if Ryudo should present himself before His Holiness Zera with the horns of Valmar, dot dot dot. Oh, Lord Granus. Millennia says, look, Zera will have a lot to say, but if you don't want to hear it, don't listen. Like I never listen to you. Why must I always do what you want? I'm my own person, sort of. Elena says, Millennia. Millennia says, Zera really pisses me off. I hate him. All he wants to do is take away people's freedom. All he wants to do is make you a slave. Why do you listen to everything he says like a loyal dog? Elena says, you lie. His holiness is trying to save me. Millennia says, see, it's always about you or the stupid world. What about Ryudo? Don't you care about what'll happen to him? You really think you can be safe and happy? Elena says, yes. Millennia says, you can't get safely, you can't get safety from the light. You can only get it from darkness. Elena says, you are Valmar, do not deceive me. Elena says, even if you close off your heart, I'm not going to go anywhere, Elena. Elena says, go away, I hate you. Millennia says, you can't make me. You should know that by now. Elena says, you are the wings of Valmar, that is all. I have no room for you in my heart. Go away. Millennia says, you blockhead, I'll never ever let you have your way with Ryudo. Elena says, goodbye, Millennia. We will not meet again. Sure. Ryudo says, man, what the hell is wrong with Elena? We came all this way to find the damned Grana Saber, and now she pulls this. Tio says, Elena may still have some unfinished business. Ryudo says, still, we got the Grana Saber. The hard part's over. All that's left is to put the big toy in its big chest, and the job is done. Can't she be a little happier? Merrick says, let it be. You will only make matters worse, for your tone rarely bespeaks your true sentiment. Sky says, the kid's just fishing for praise from Elena. Merrick says, indeed. Ryudo says, what's happening? What? What is this? Elena says, no, the day of darkness. It cannot be. Ryudo says, what's happening, Elena? It is darkness time. Oh my god! Valmar, the day of darkness. Let's see the Pope. Oh no, doom. Disaster. <clears throat> Please help us. The day of darkness. In the nights. Ryudo says, slow down. What the hell are you talking about? 
The Knights of Granis massacred everyone in front of the cathedral. Ryudo says, what? Elena says, this cannot be. The Knights would never raise a hand against the innocent. Their concern is with the heretical. Merrick says, we must inquire into this. Ryudo says, let's get moving. Bills now. Fancy. Oh, there were two of those. Kind of to 
this instead. to power some stuff. Well, there's really nothing worth powering up at this point. So let's... None of those are worth it. Anyways, I think this is a good place to stop. I'm getting kind of close to the two hour mark. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to continue playing in a little bit here.